So hello everybody, it's the Wargamer here. I'm bringing you episode three, and as of the moment, we have one vote for Red Power Two as a starting off thing. And as you can see, a lot has changed from episode two to episode three. I have these chests with not a whole lot in them. Just got a little organization thing here. Got tons of ores. Got some diamonds. Got myself a diamond pick. Uh, as far as tools, we got a little bit of tools. Mob drops, we got some shards of minium. Uh, we got some sand, cobble, dirt, wood, stuff like that. Uh, I built another section here for when I do stuff with the red power too. I have a little vanilla tree farm, which I had a, uh, I think it was one, well, we'll just say like 15, no, not 15, like 10 by three, so like 30 saplings. I have my little, I have a little enchanting room, I actually stole all these books from a village I found off in that direction, down there I think, or was over there, no it was over there. So yep, I went over there, got the stuff from the village, uh, I should do some enchanting soon. Like, there are lots of, lots of cows in this biome, but I haven't found any sugar cane, that's the thing. That's the only thing holding me back at the moment, is sugar cane. So yep, I've done I've I haven't done any enchanting yet, but I should soon once I get all my bookcases. I think it's just like a straight flat level thing. And also, this place here, I'm gonna see if I can get as dark as possible and to show you something really cool. Uh, I'll tell you guys in a later episode, but uh, a little hint it has to do with mobs. So, there's your little teaser of that thing right there. I have a little bridge here because I don't like swimming through the water. There's my boat I use from the village. I got some wheat here which I gotta pick soon, some corn. I gotta go grow some carrots because I like carrots because you don't need to cook them. Uh, there's a water hive here which is really good. I like the water hives. They're very very special with the bees. But we are going to start off with some red power too. So what is red power too exactly? Well red power too is essentially it's a it's a mod that allows you to do a lot of sorting. It allows you to do lots of things. I, I'll show you some of the uh, ores it gives you. It gives you these rubies and sapphire. I don't have the green sapphire. Oh, no, I do have it right here. So it gives you these ores here. It gives you some ton skin ore, which is used for some awesome things. And I believe that's all the ores it gives you. I think it also gives you some copper and some tin like it normally does. But if we just open up the NEI here. And we just look at the mods. I think there's a tab for Red Power 2. Let's see here. Yep, Red Power stuff like this. Oh, it also gives you a whole bunch of micro blocks. Like if you look at all of these here, there's a ton of blocks. And then you have your compact, which is like um, using Bluetricity for uh, build craft power. We got some control things so you can use computers and stuff like that. Do like do things and stuff like that. I haven't messed with computers at all with Red Power 2. There's some lightings, like a whole bunch of cool lights. We got some logic gates. Logic gates are awesome. They're really, really helpful. There's the machinery, like I said before. You have uh, like block breakers. You got transposers, you got deployers, you got these frames, you got sorting machines, battery boxes, frame motors that like moves the frames around. Get this kinetic generator, which I've never seen before. That's new. Uh, regulator, thermopiler, got an igniter. Go down a bit. Got this assembler, which I, I don't know what that thing does either. Ejector, I assume ejects, relays, sortron. That is something I more than likely will not mess around with. I will, however, mess around with managers at some point because those are pretty cool. Uh, solar panels, you got pumps, accelerators to like speed things through. You got like all this cool stuff. And what was this thing? Oh, I think it was under machine. Yeah, but uh, this is like your world gem. It has like rubber trees. There's your ruby ore. It uh, spawns in volcanoes, these marble uh, patches and mines. And you can do the, some real cool things with the basalts. I just hope that they do it later with something else. You can paint pipes with this mod. You can do tons of things. Grow flax, which then gives you like string which is how I made my bed. Uh, sickles, or oh, sickles are awesome. I gotta show you what sickles do. Uh, all these cool things, and I, yep, that's it. So, 
seeing as I have this tool here already made up, here, right here, I'll just show you the recipe for this real quickly. I mean, the recipe for this one in particular is just cobblestone, but you can actually use, well, hold on, Minecraft is glitching out, there we go. But you can essentially use any type of resource to make a sickle, you know, stone, wood, all that other stuff. But one of the things it does is it clears a 5x5 five five area, uh, let's say like grass and stuff like that. So like you do one click and like clears up this whole entire area 5x5, five five, like from the center it goes two out in all directions. But also on trees, it clears out a 3x3x3. Three by three by three. So you can easily go around getting rid of all these leaves real quickly and it would be like, oh, this is awesome. Well, a lot of people may think like, oh, well, what's the point of getting rid of the leaves? They would despawn anyways. Well, if you use the rubber trees, the, uh, the, what's it called? The, the Billcraft rubber trees. There's actually two rubber trees. I didn't say this from my last, from my first episode, but you have this, you have the rubber trees here, which is the, um, industrial craft one. And then you've got some other one here. I think that's the plastics craft. I don't know if they're interchangeable yet. I'll know that when I come across. But you can destroy leaves really nicely. And what this does is for the Billcraft one, is you can easily get saplings off your rubber trees. No longer do you have to break one block at a time and hope for it. You could just break a three by three by three area and be like, oh, all done, all done, all done. And just go, 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 go. And uh, I like these death points things, like I, I died right here from a creeper, had to repair this, and got all my stuff back thankfully, didn't lose my diamond pick. And all that was just, yeah, it was a side, side thing. Let us go down into the mine after I drop off my seeds here. I'm gonna count saplings of seeds. Keep what we got on me, and off we go to the mine. Although... I don't know why that porch is there. All right, so here's my mine shaft. This actually was a huge work in progress. Got some marble down there, as you can see. But uh, this took me like going up and down several times. Like, oh yep, it was just your normal two by two as you normally go down with, this, with a mine. And then I'm like, oh, this is going quite so. So I mine at the top. I'm like, oh yeah, I go like really fast down because you can like sprint going up and down stairs now. You go really fast. So then I was like, oh yeah, I'm going to sprint down these, um, sprint down with the room head, uh, room for my head, and I went down really fast. And then I'm like, oh, okay, finish mine, time to go back up. So I'm like hopping, like, just going like this, kind of like, just hopping like you normally do. And it was like really slow. I'm like, oh, it's so easy to come down, but so hard to get, get up. So then I put down the stairs, you know, mine one down, put the stairs, and then my head started hitting the ceiling again. So I had to mine up the ceiling again, went up one more, and now it works just beautiful. I mean, look at this. Zoom. We're going up so fast. Actually, I think it's faster to go up than it is to go down, which is quite cool to tell you the truth. Oh, cow. I need your leather. Thank you. Come again. All right, so, uh, let's see if we got some ore here. Ooh, quite a bit of ore. Nice. So, like I said, oh, no, torch. Here, we'll just use sulfur torch. So, I'm going to quickly get this ore here, and I'm going to get ready for our some of our first machinery for the red power, too. Ooh, there's a bee. Ha, oh, rocky bee. All right, going to keep that open for when we do some bee stuff. So, I'll see you guys later once we get these machinery and something to start off with the, uh, what's it called? Red power, too. So, See you guys soon. Here's a quick tip, but I just uh, used my uh, sickle. I'm gonna use it here again. But uh, as you can see here, if you watch, I collect this one here. It'll break this and this and all the way up to the water. Ready? Boom. Oh, I also work over there. Cool. So it does like a five by five square. So it's, it's pretty awesome. So yeah, like I said, that's just a little tidbit. I just need to get some food and I'll see you guys when I get the machinery or get something started with the red power too. All right guys. So. I kind of figured the first thing we're going to do with the Red Power 2 mod to start things off is we're going to make ourselves a little sorting facility. So if we look up the, I know there's a sorting machine, 
kind of deal. I mean, this is Sword Tron, but Sword, Mach Sword Machine's like the first tier of sorting, kind of. Like, eh, kind of. But as you can see here, you, it needs a filter, but it also needs these red dope wafers, uh, blue alloy wire, and all this other stuff. So basically, uh, anything that has blue alloy ingots, or whatever it is, yeah, blue alloy ingots, that basically is a good indication that it requires the blue electricity power. And so if we look at the type in blue, let's see here. Don't know if it's going to show me the blue furnace or make it spelled different. But I know, we can just go here, go to mods, and then go to machines, and then look it up this, well, nope, don't do that. Don't click. Looking really hard right now. I can't find it. But uh, it's basically, it's a type of furnace that allows you to, oh, I just saw it here. The blue tricity, uh, blue, blue tricity, or blue tristic furnace, something like that. I think that's a furnace that requires blue tricity, and this is, no, no, this is the thing that can make blue tricity, and this is a furnace that, requ that requires it to run. Also, project tables is another cool thing, and we're actually going to start off with building that, and they're real easy to build. You just require some three smooth stone, some wood of any kind of chest, and a crafting table, and I'm going to replace, like, both of these here crafting tables with it, with that, so we can just pull those up, go into tools, pull up meacks, just pull that up, pull this up because we're going to need them, uh, we need, how much stacks of wood, uh, we need two per chest, and then we need two additional for each side, and now for smooth stone on top, I think that was six, yep. Now we just cook it in the furnace, and I think I have some charcoal in here, no. Come on, charcoal. Come on. Yep, here it is. Found the charcoal. I'm just going to keep the uh, charcoal inside the furnace. At some point though, I am going to get a barrel for charcoal. But our sorting facility is not going to be used for like barrels or anything. Now that'd be very inefficient. What we're going to do is we're going to have it sort out. I don't know. In this room, we're going to build another one that way. We'll find out soon enough. But yeah, we're just going to start crafting this and put down a crafting table real quick so we can craft these chests. Looks like I got more wood than what I needed, but that's okay. Where's my axe? night time so make sure that mobs don't spawn on us I'm just going to go to sleep as soon as this last one gets played or we'll just sleep yep we'll just sleep and there's like a glitch here where like the chest loser signs but they come right back when you get out of bed so it's like, yeah okay nothing too bad and we got put on the thing again we gotta go up here put this here Craft a table up there, and a chest here, and boom, we ourselves a project table. And as soon as we make another one, I'll show you what exactly this project table can do, which is really cool. Alright. So, let's say you want to make... Uh, here would be a good example, because we're going to actually build off for a sorting facility. We're going to build off that way for this sorting, keep it away from the mine. We're gonna build everything out that way, kind of now, or up, who knows. So let's say, uh, because we want a whole bunch of wood and we don't just wanna put it in there, we can put it in here and we can just shift click and puts the stack in and uses it all up minus at one. And now let's say we want to make ourselves two doors. We can uh, put the recipe in, click it once. Oh look, we got a door. And the recipe refills it and uses the items down here. And you get yourselves two doors, which is pretty awesome. Although I don't need any doors because I don't know why I did that. But hey, we got two doors. Maybe we'll use them for something else. Who knows? All right, so we're going to start off and build ourselves another nine by nine. How's the land look over here? Let's just all this here down. 
Eh, seems to be good. Now, like the easiest way to do this 9x9 nine nine thing is just to do a quick outline like this. Boom. And you just go across it like this. And that's three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Perfect. And this is where you can kind of just go crazy at it because the outline's already done for you. You just gotta match up the corners. And voila, you're almost done. And I'm gonna pause the video here because the rest is all self-explanatory. So see you guys soon. All right, guys. Oh. Flag. There we go. Alright guys, um, as you can see here, I have a little, um, I built this out maybe twice as large because I plan to have a lot of sorting in this here room. All along the walls and stuff like that come out through the floor. And then like to access all the sorting stuff beneath, I'll be going down here which I haven't dug out yet. Because I'm working on like a piston thing where instead of just putting a lever here and being, well, the lever won't do anything there. But it will do something over here. So I'm planning on using a thing called a toggle latch, which I have right here. Which is made with this, which is also a, um, what's it called? A, uh, uh, red power to, uh, block. It's, uh, it's a toggle latch. It does exactly what it says, it toggles. So I'll be putting, like, a wooden button here. So toggle it open. I can go down, up and down. And just for safety reasons, I'll have another toggle latch underneath. I'll like climb up and down like this way maybe, or who knows, I'll figure something out. The safety one, or I might have it go somewhere, and stuff like that. But now the real question is, how am I going to wire all this thing? Well, I'm going to be using the red alloy wire, which is also another thing of red power tube. So in order to get the... This stuff... No, where is it? Here it is, this stuff. How you get these red alloy ingots. And thankfully there was, uh, in, in order to get those ingots, you gotta use this alloy furnace. Now in order to get these ingots, you have to use clay. And thank God I have some clay right here, which I have in my inventory now. Uh, so I'm going to make myself a alloy furnace. And they're really simple to make. You just gotta cook up the coal. Get some iron ingots for the uh, stuff. I'll like make double it and tend to put this in and as that happens I'm going to also get another stack of charcoal going. Steal one of these. Put it in here for now. Oh okay, when that happens. Uh so come on pick up. I'll come right back when I get this done. Alright, so here's the crafting of the Blue uh, the not blue tri the alloy furnace, and we're just gonna stick this bugger right over here behind the bed. Yep, right there. Who cares? Uh, we're gonna put our iron ingots. We're just gonna cook up all six. Like that. Get a stack of redstone. Now you only need like four per thing. No, uh, you need one iron to four redstone to make a red alloy ingot. So I'm just gonna put the whole entire stack in there. I'm gonna have to dukes it out. So if you see that goes to 60 minus one and there's your red alloy ingot. So we're gonna skip through this and show you guys what it looks like when it's done. All right guys, so we just finished and now we're gonna be crafting this here red alloy ingots. There we go, we got 12 red alloy wire, which is awesome. Now for this here toggle switch. Uh, you, we need the stone wafers. The stone wafers are actually not too hard to get. You just gotta use the smooth stone. You just cook it twice in the furnace and you get these wafers. So, a uh, good example of doing that is basically grab a stack. Uh, we don't need any more of these. But we do need this. We need that. And we only need to put one in there. So I'm just gonna keep doing this until we hit one. Or that does that. We'll put the stone back in there. And as you can see, it smelts. And I think you get three wafers, maybe four wafers. Or maybe because of Greg Tech puts it all the way down to one, who knows? Nope, two wafers. So we'll do, let's see, we need two, four, six, eight, nine. No, there's there's a toggle switch, so. 
So it goes four, six, eight. We already have our switch here. So we got the switch, and then there's these other components. So you got these stone cathodes, and this, and you know, the cathode, the wire, and just wafers, which is, this is actually one of the easiest things you can make with the uh, red out, with the red power two stuff. So once this is all done, and I'll start crafting the things, we'll take a look at that. All right, so we got all our stone cath cathodes. So we need, for this recipe, we need, there's my redstone, there we go. We need two of these stone wafers. Two of these stone cathodes. And that's all that we need there. And then we just put the wafers around like this. Put that there, this here. And we got ourselves a toggle latch. And I made myself some extra red alloy ingots, so I can get myself 24. Alright, so I think I also might need to make myself a screwdriver. I can't place this, place this right. here get ourselves a wooden button and voila we got ourselves a toggle latch how awesome is that now, as far as delay oh well delays all right and because uh we'll be using ladders we can just jump up the ladder and off we go and I use some of my wood for that. So there's a toggle latch, and this is going to conclude this here episode. Next episode will be, uh, well, I'll have all this here cleared out, and we'll be start starting some of the machines, moving some of the Red Power 2 stuff down there, like the alloy furnace down there and everything else. So we mainly do our stuff downstairs, make all our uh, pneumatic tubings, our paints, which means I need flax, and I need to find my aluminum, and all this other great stuff. So we can sort all of our stuff that we come across. I'll be throwing some other mods into this uh, little startup too. Like we'll be doing using the ender chest stuff and all the other fun things. Uh, some industrial craft as well. Industrial craft too. Because I got a really cool way to organize junk. So this is the Wargamer signing off in episode 3 of the serverless place. And oh that's where the glass was supposed to go. I think I still have that piece. No, I don't have the piece of glass. But anyways, this is the War Gamer signing off as I get distracted from a piece of glass. Stay tuned for episode four, which will be released on Thursday, if all goes well, or Friday. I'm right now in the process of making a plan for all that. But stay tuned for my update video on more information on that, uh, where I when I do my videos and everything else, because I'm actually writing down a chart. So this is the War Gamer signing off. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. Like if you want to point something out that I can do something better like how to make this here uh, react faster or whatever so that it just happens a lot faster and everything else just put it in the comments below don't forget to share it with your mates so that if they have ideas they can tell me what what to do and I'll put it and I'll take into consideration I might or might not do it depends on how I'm feeling or if it's like a good idea or a bad idea I won't do bad ideas but I'll like point out that oh it's kind of a bad idea in the comments so don't be scared to comment with your friends. You won't all be rejected, but you guys are all awesome. And don't forget to hit the like button because it shows that you really do like what I'm doing. So this is Wargamer signing off. Peace.